image formed by convex lens. The characteristics of the image formed by convex lens depends on the positions of the object. At different positions, the characteristics will be different. For example, um, if we put the objects in between the optical center O and F, let's see what will be the uh, characteristics of the image. Now, just now we have learned how to draw the ray diagram. So we use a ray diagram to help us to find the characteristics of the image. To draw ray diagrams, there are a few rules. The first rule is if the light ray is parallel to the principal axis, it will be refracted to pass through the principal focus. So this is rule number one. And uh, rule number two told us that if the light ray passes through the optical center, then it will not be refracted. And uh, we found that the light ray is diverged. So we extend the light ray to see where these two lights converged. It's, it's at this point. Yeah? So this is the positions of the image. Okay, the positions of the image. And let's draw. So this is the image. Yeah? Okay. Since the light rays come from the tip of the arrow, so this also will be the tip of the arrow. Uh, that's how we draw the ray diagram, and this is the image form. So from here, we can see that the image that form is magnified. Magnified means it's bigger. Yeah, bigger. And second, the image form is virtual. Now, how do we know it's virtual? If it's at the same side as the object, then it's virtual. Yeah? So object is here and it's also here at the left hand side and therefore is virtual. Okay. And it's upright. It's not upside down. So therefore it's upright. And uh, you also need to know the applications of uh, this case. Uh, and uh, this is used in magnifying glass where we put the objects in between uh, O and F. Uh. Okay. Now let's see the second one. What will happen if we put the object exactly at F. Eh? Okay, so rule number one, the light ray the parallel to the principal axis will be uh, refracted, pass through the F, and the light ray that pass through O will not be refracted. And uh, we extend this line and then we found that it's a parallel line and uh, all parallel lines will converge or intersect at infinity. So the image form at infinity. And the image is still at the same side as the object. Eh? So the characteristics of the image is magnified. Okay, you can see that it becomes very big. Even though we can't see where, is, where the image is, but uh, we can predict that it will be very, very big. And since it's at the same side of the object, therefore it's virtual and it should be upright. Okay. And applications, this is used in astronomical telescope. Now, how about putting the object in between F and uh, 2F? Eh? Okay, so by drawing the ray diagram. So this light ray will pass through F. Okay, and then there's another ray that pass through O and it's not refracted. So uh, it focuses at this point here. So this is where the image is. Um, from here, we can see that the image is bigger than the object. Eh? Okay, and it's at another side of the lens and therefore is real. If at the same side of the object, then it's virtual. If it's at another side of the object, then it becomes real. Eh? So this is a real image. And then it's upside down. Therefore, we say it's inverted. The image form is uh, magnified, or means bigger. And it's a real image and is inverted. And this is used in slide projector, overhead projector. So for slide projectors, we would like the image form on the screen and we would like the image become bigger. So, uh, so that's what we get. How about putting the object exactly at 2F? So let's draw a light ray parallel to the principal axis and pass through uh, F. And then another one, pass through O, not refracted. Okay, we found that the image will form at 2F as well. And then the size of the object and image is the same, same size. And uh, is real because it's at, at another side and it's inverted upside down, right? So the characteristics of the image, same size, real and inverted. And uh, this is used in photocopy machine. 
Uh, this is the applications. The last case where we put the object further than 2f, so like ray parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through f, and another like that pass through over, okay, so it will form the image here. The image is smaller than the object, so we call, we say it's diminished or smaller, and uh, it's a real image because it's at another side, and it's upside down, so therefore it's inverted. And uh, this is used in camera. So you need to know how to draw the ray diagram. That's for sure. Okay, in exam, they may give you a diagram and they would like you to draw the ray diagram. And uh, you also need to know what types of image or the characteristics of the image form for different positions of object. And uh, for most students, they found that it's very hard for them to remember. Now, never mind. Let's have a look at the summary here. So characteristics of image formed by the convex lens. Huh? The characteristics of image formed by a convex lens depends on the locations of the object. So we have a lens here. So uh, in front of the lens, we divide it into uh, three sections. The divider is at F and 2F. Huh? F and 2F. Okay. So if, if the object is put before 2f from this area to this area before 2f is magnified means it's bigger okay if you put an object here 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 is bigger if you put your object at 2f then the image is the same size as the object and if you put the objects uh, further than 2f then it will be smaller or diminish so that's how we determine whether it's uh, magnified or diminished at 2f, same size. Less than 2f, bigger. More than 2f, smaller. Then um, how do we know whether it's virtual or uh, real? So we have f here. Less than f, we put the object less than f, the image will be virtual and upright. Uh, exactly at f is also virtual. And if the object is put further than f, from here to infinity, uh, the image that form will be real and inverted. So th that's how we remember. To know whether it's bigger or smaller, at 2f, same size. Less than 2f, bigger. More than 2f, smaller. To know whether it's real or virtual, we refer to f. Less than f, virtual. More than f, real. And uh, less than f, upright, or when it's virtual, it's upright and more than f is real and inverted. Okay, so let's see how do we use this to find the characteristics of the image. Yeah? Let's say we have an object here. So the object here should be, if object place here, the image form is magnified, right? Because it's less than 2f, it's magnified, and it's virtual and upright, right? It's magnified, and it's virtual, and it's upright. How about putting an object here? Okay, it's still magnify, right? Because it's less than two f, still magnify, and then it's still virtual and upright. And if we put an object here between f and two f, it's still magnify because it's less than two f. It starts to be real because after f, bigger than f, it becomes real and inverted. So it's real and inverted. If we put our object exactly at 2f, then it will be same size and it's real and it's inverted. Okay, real and inverted. And if we put objects uh, further than 2f here, then it will be diminished. Okay, smaller. And it's still real and inverted. That's how we find the characteristics of image formed by a convex lens. Eh? Okay, I hoped that you can remember this. And you must remember this because this is a frequently asked questions in your school test. Eh?